How is everybody doing today? My name is Master Zero, and welcome back to another reaction video. <clears throat> this time we are re going to be reacting to What If We Detonated All Nuclear Bombs at Once by In A Nutshell. And like always, every time I do one of his videos, I'm not even going to try to pronounce the first one. I'm just going to look like a fool. But um, <clears throat> yeah, uh, I did the Origin of Consciousness, no, Origin of Consciousness one, and then I did the... Uh, what's it called the strange stars one and then i was looking at his channel uh the other day and i was like I, I missed one how could i have possibly missed one so without any further ado here is what if we detonated all nuclear bombs at once by in a nutshell many of our viewers have asked us a very serious question what if we made a big pile of bombs and exploded every nuclear weapon in the world all at once Strangely question. enough, we couldn't find a good source to answer this question to our satisfaction. So, huh. we gathered together a few scientists to calculate what would happen nice. and find an answer to this extremely important Bunch scientific smart problem heads working once together. and for all. Currently, there are 15,000 nuclear weapons on Earth. Holy crap! The US and Russia both have around 7,000, while France, China, the UK, Pakistan, India, Israel and North Korea own around 1,000 between them. But how much destructive power is this really? Let's try to put these numbers into perspective. I love his little uh, intro sequence thing. It's so cool. On Earth, there are about 4,500 cities or urban areas with at least 100,000 inhabitants. Some are bigger than others, so we'll assume that on average we need three nuclear bombs to completely wipe out one city. Okay, why not? This means we could destroy every single city on planet Earth with our nuclear arsenal, killing more than three billion people, roughly half of humanity, in an instant. Whoa. And we'd still have 1,500 nuclear weapons left. Oh my god! Now that's what an expert would call overkill. Yeah! So we can say with confidence that we have a lot of nuclear weapons and they can do a lot of damage. Yeah. But what if we make a huge pile of all 15,000 bombs and pull the trigger? No! Let's drop our nuclear pile in the middle of the Amazon rainforest, no. just to show nature who's boss. Our warheads, piled haphazardly, fit into a small warehouse. Okay. A typical U.S. warhead has the power of 200,000 tons of TNT. So 15,000 warheads would be the equivalent of 3 billion tons of TNT. My God! For scale, this is enough to rebuild the whole island of Manhattan with every building and skyscraper using stacks of TNT. Oh my God! The closest thing we can compare to the energy gathered here is a volcano. One of the deadliest volcanic eruptions in recorded history took place in 1883 on the island of Krakatoa. The eruption was so powerful that 70% of the island and the surrounding archipelago was destroyed, killing tens of thousands of people. I did not its know effects about that. were felt around the world for days after the event. Our nuclear pile contains 15 times the energy of the Krakatoa volcanic My eruption. My God! So let's finally push the button. No, Birdie, no. Three, Birdie. two, one. In a second, a fireball 50 kilometers across vaporizes everything in its way and creates a blast wave that flattens 3,000 square kilometers of forest. That bird should not be Every alive. Every living thing within 250 there kilometers goes. will start to burn. The explosion will be heard literally around the world as the pressure wave circles the Earth tens of times over the next few weeks. Damn! Millions of tons of incinerated material are catapulted into the atmosphere. The mushroom cloud reaches the outer reaches of the stratosphere, pushing up against space itself. After things have calmed down, a small crater, about 10 kilometers across, is left in the center of the worst wildfires the planet has seen in millennia, spreading throughout South America, burning down forests and cities alike. Jesus! And now, the unpleasant part begins. Yeah. Extremely radioactive material will kill living things very quickly, and a large area several kilometers around the crater is now uninhabitable, as is everywhere for hundreds of kilometers downwind. That is Much ridiculous. of the fallout is carried high into the atmosphere by the mushroom cloud and carried around the planet. The amount of radioactive material in the environment doubles worldwide, which still isn't civilization ending, but we may see more cancer for a while. Yeah. A portion of the particles will flow to the edge of space for years and cause a nuclear winter that could lower global temperatures by a few degrees for a few years. This explosion was pretty bad if you're in South America and especially Brazil. The Amazon rainforest is pretty much history, which is not great. But human life will go on. Okay, Barely. but what if we explode more nuclear weapons? Why? Let's suppose humanity decided to mine every bit of uranium on Earth and build as many nuclear bombs as possible. 
At current usage, it's How many estimated times have that I said there my are God around 35 million tons of uranium in my Earth's God. crust, enough to power human civilization for over 2,000 years, or to build millions of nuclear warheads. So let's just go the, the destructive argument, route, why not? Let's say we create a pile with a yield of 10 billion Hiroshima bombs, which makes up a cube three kilometers high that contains roughly the energy of the asteroid impact that ended the age of the dinosaurs 65 million years ago. Holy crap. Except it's also nuclear. Three, two, one. It looks so much one. more evil. Our pile explodes in a fireball stretching oh. so high into the sky that it's visible from half of South America with so much power that the ground just splashes like water, forming a crater 100 kilometers across. Bedrock on the scale of whole mountain ranges is vaporized in an instant, while thousands of tons of material is catapulted away with such speed that it's ejected into space. Some Damn. leaves Earth forever, while most of it comes raining down as hot, burning debris that heats up the atmosphere to oven-like temperatures, killing most big animals and causing firestorms all over the world. Oh. The Earth's crust rings like a bell, struck by global earthquakes longer than anything in recorded history, decimating cities around the world, while hurricane-force winds flatten every single tree in South America and wildfires consume the continent. That is nuts. The abundance of hydrocarbons in the Amazon burned to form ash are cast into the atmosphere, darting the sky and keeping sunlight from reaching the surface, dropping temperatures to near freezing worldwide. My God. The ensuing global winter may last for decades and results in the extinction of every large animal species, humans included. This we is We could also nuts. mention that every corner of the planet is covered with radioactive fallout, but at this point, it doesn't matter that much anymore. <laughs> this is Fall humanity's up. extinction event. The astronauts aboard the International Space Station get to enjoy a great view for a while, but it's not unlikely that the spray of rocks blast into orbit will destroy the station. Those lucky enough to be in bunkers or in submarines deep below the ocean surface may survive the longest before they exhaust their food supplies and have to venture out for more. Oh no. They'll find the world a charred, freezing, radioactive wasteland. The planet itself doesn't care at all. After just a few million years, the wounds of the explosions have healed and life is thriving, arguably even more so than when humans were around. Huh. If well, intelligent life emerges again, it might be able to work out what happened. When they study geology, they'll find a bizarre and very thin layer of rock covering the entire world, enriched in radioactive elements like uranium and the other nasty things it decays to, mixed with rare earth metals and plastics that humans used. Huh. They would probably be very, very confused. My god. Videos like this one take well over 1200 hours to finish. Over the years, we've put more and more effort into research, conversations with experts, illustration and animation, sound design and fact checking. For this lot video, we put to a do lot of video. extra work Love into the our butt. sources document. <laughs> you can read how we got to the information in the video, what our experts thought about it, uh, where they disagreed with each other. I'm a total nerd about this we can sort take of stuff, so to do this I'm probably going to do this. You, our viewers because you watch and share our videos, Aww. buy our posters, and support us on Patreon.com. They really saw that poster because I like want that poster. Doing, please consider becoming want a that patron poster. or get one of the nice things we made with love. Aww. Thank you for watching. You're welcome. Oh, this video was crazy. Like, really crazy. What's this? Oh, Patreon. But that, oh my god, that was, that was not, I knew it was going to be bad, like, 100%, but, like, the detail behind it, it was just, it makes everything, like, abs, ax, I'm trying to be smart here, I'm using big words, astronomically way worse <laughs> than what I thought it was going to be, but my god, that is, oh, but it's, it's interesting, it's so interesting, I love stuff like this, like, science and theories and oh this like i just i love this channel so much and uh i i see that other people do too because uh i had a couple of people ask me to do more of uh, his videos so that i'm doing but i i really enjoy it. It, it it's ridiculous you learn so much with these videos and like i said in the last video like he does it like um he simplifies it to like show show you like little creatures and stuff like the animation and everything to make it like to have your brain process it a whole lot easier but it, it's really enjoyable i am a huge nerd for his videos it's just awesome i love it
So thank you everybody so much for watching. If you like this video, feel free to leave a like down below because it makes me feel all warm and fuzzy on the inside. And don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more awesome videos like this one. So with that said, I have been Master Zero. Y'all guys have been fantastic and I will see y'all in the next episode. Later days!